Hello and welcome everyone to this case study on data cleaning regarding bank accounts. We will be trying to create a consolidated report of cash collection by region, wherein each region may have multiple bank accounts. And these are some of the techniques we'll be using to complete the project. First, you would see that each region, let's say North, has multiple bank accounts. Each line item would consist of the bank account name, then the bank account number, followed by some kind of an IFSE code. Now, we need to extract this bank account number out in a separate column. Why? Because these bank accounts are mentioned in the next sheet. For example, when I do control F and paste that bank account, I realize that on 7th May 2016, in this bank account, we received 91,000 rupees. It could be $91,000. Now, I need to put the region against this bank account. To do so, I would need a VLOOKUP to get my answer, correct? However, for VLOOKUP to work fine, I need to extract this bank account number separately as text in the next column. Now, let me tell you that using data and then text to column will not help you get the answer. Why? Because if you choose space, it splits the data into multiple columns such that it gets scattered. So, what I insist that you do is copy the bank account number, go to the next cell, put a single quote. Why? Because I need to store this bank account number as text. So don't forget the single quote. Once I do that, I will select the cell and press Ctrl E. Ctrl E is the shortcut key of flash fill, which you would find under data tab. Flash fill is that AI technology, which finds a pattern to the data and populates the answer based on the few examples that you would have shown. Now, remember, if you do not put the single quote and then press Ctrl E, you would realize that the bank account number has been extracted without zeros, thereby making the bank account number extraction incorrect. So let me go back. Let me show that one step again. I copy the bank account number. Okay. I go to the adjoining cell. Ensure that there is no blank column and that you're not pasting in the next cell. You're keeping in this adjoining cell, then single quote, control V, and then control E. Ideally, for a larger data set, you should show three bank samples. Now, once you've got this data out, this seems like a magic, right? So what I'm going to do is, I am going to give a heading now, bank account, and I'm going to put this in the first column before the region. Why would I do that? Because we look up looks for in the first column and then tries to look for the answer in the right hand side. So now when I go to the next sheet, I'm well positioned to apply a VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP look for this bank account number and notice the bank account number is stored as text in this sheet as well. So it's a good sign because in both the sheets, the bank account number is stored as text. Now I go comma, then I go to the previous sheet. I choose the data ensuring that the first column does contain my bank account number. Once I do that, I'm going to click on F4. That's the function key to lock the range, then comma, and then column number two. Why two? Because the second column of the table array has the region. After two, I'm going to put in a comma and then zero or false for exact match. And finally enter. So basically the first bank account belongs to Western region and the rest is a simple copy paste. So I'm going to give a heading called region. And now I'm going to make a pivot table. So choosing the entire data set, I go to insert, make a pivot table and click on OK. A lot of you may have to right click on the pivot table options, go to display and activate the option of classic. This will allow you to drag and drop the fields to the pivot table. Now, once you've done this, we will be putting in date in the row fields. Then right click and group the dates as per the cluster of months and years. Next, I put the region in the column fields. Now, why would I be looking at blanks? We'll find it out very soon. For now, let me put the collection inside the data set. Okay, so let us figure out why is this blank? Let me go back to collection, press control down. Notice that I did not copy paste the formula right till the very end. So I double click to make sure the entire formula has been copy pasted correctly. 
However, I have to ensure that the formula from the first cell has been copy pasted correctly right till the very, very end, right? And once that is done, I go back to my pivot table and I right click to refresh the pivot table. Now I realize that across East, North, South and West, what has been the collection between these two years? If you want to keep North before, you can right click and say move one level up. So North, East and South, I can right click and say move to the end. So basically North, East, West, South, what has been the collection over different months of these years of 2016 and 17. If you wish, you can take away the region and just keep the collection. And then you can right click on the region to make a slicer. This way, when you click on East, only East data has been shown, North, South and West. And you can use this data to make a basic column chart, which is not very far. Now, as you choose East, North, South and West, you see the cash collection over the 12 months period. So friends, I hope you love this trick of data cleaning of bank account. Let me help you remember that just in case, just in case you wish to extract the bank account name, flash fill may not help you. So I'm going to apply substitute. In this main cell, I am going to find out whether this bank account number exists. And if it does, this must be replaced with something else. And that something else is nothing but a pipe sign. So substitute formula is nothing but find and replace formula version. Find this B4 data, which is the bank account number and replace with a pipe sign. If I do that, you will notice that the data has a dividing point between the bank account name and the IFSC code. So at this point, I would insist that do not try to go directly to text to column because it will show you all the formulas here. So you must convert all this into a paste special value. So let me go back, copy this entire block, right click, go to paste special and choose values. And once I've done so, I'll be choosing this data again and finally going to text to column and then ensuring that in the other section, I put in that pipe sign. This pipe sign is nothing but this icon above the enter key. And once I do that, I click on finish. So there you see, you get the column of bank name, you get the column of IFSC code. If it's not present, it will be showing as blank. And of course, you also have the bank account number. Great. So this was a consolidated project which involved multiple techniques at the same time. Do watch this video again and do practice this. It'll give you confidence of how you work with real data in sales and marketing.